Hello everyone, this is Elvis the Tank Destroyer and I am in a platoon with Corey uh, from Clear 4 uh, and unfortunately for a certain amount of this game I am AFK and not because the game was AFK um, I had to get something, uh, I had to get someone at the door so I ran out and was missing for a little while um, it doesn't happen right away, but so uh, I'll discuss a few things. Uh, I'm in an IS-7 and Corey's in a mouse. And, um, so the point of the IS-7 is if you are not planning to be a hold down tank, you are not doing it right. Now, there comes a time when this tank performs mostly on an angling. It can't be a bully. It, it, I mean, it can be a bully. It can uh, confront one-on-one -on -one or two-on-one. -on -one. But in the beginning of the game, you really have to hold down. So this is where I kind of disappear for a minute. I, I had to go get the, someone at the door. So my gun is just here and I'm not peeking out. I left the tank right there and I say it tries to put a shot in me <laughs> and even though I'm not there. So I'm missing for a moment here. Um, for a long moment. I could have hit that ISA dang it but uh, yeah I'm still missing. But anyways um, if you're playing in an IS-7, uh, the most important thing is uh, protecting a low, low glacier um, and angling in a certain way depending on what side the tank is. So if the enemy tank is on your left side, you want to use the angle on the right side. If the tank is on the right side, you want to use the angling on the left side. It makes a huge difference on your capability of bouncing shells. So I come back to the game and go in uh, against the IS-8 and the 268. So this ends up being one of those games where me and Corey kind of own it. So I'm using the mouse here as my shield. Uh, I'm trying not to be too close to him but I'm just using his armor. Now how did that not pan? Uh, like seriously, how did that not pan? So object 268 is going to run away. Not before I put a shot in him. Alright. And now I'm going to concentrate on the IS-7. So is Corey. Alright, one there. Good try on the wiggling, but... Didn't work this time. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure you tried. I protect the uh, mouse and that made no sense again. I should have gone right through, but it didn't. Well, we'll get rid of him now. So this is three on six. How about that? Now it's three on five. Ooh, gonna have to adjust. <clears throat> He's done. Come on, E4. I'll put one shot in you at least. There you are. Good. We made him a one shot. Has to be, has to die. The gorilla's gonna flank. Okay, let's push the STB. I gotta make sure I put a good shot in the engine. There you go, 449. Now switching the heat. I'm gonna to switch to heat, baby. And a turret shot. Right there, 750. Beautiful. Alright. Before a grill can flank, I gotta get rid of this STV. There we go. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? 
Yeah, you are per plate. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to reset my camouflage. And then I'm going to touch the cap. Make him think I'm in the cap. He's going to think he's smart and come this way. Yeah. Switch my heat. I got one more left. Beautiful. Alright, AP is good. Not switching to APCR. I don't trust it. <laughs> Woo! You missed. Yeah, hit the wall. Alright. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's a win. That's a good play. And uh, if you notice that side scraping off the mouse, that's kind of how you use any other tank that may be next to you. You can use any other body. Could be another IS-7, you can do the same thing. Side scraping off the other tank. Don't sit behind them where you're blocking and where you might want to back up. Give them a little bit of room. Doesn't have to be too much. But other than that, that was a good carry. Uh, their grill, their platoon did really well, but the rest of their team couldn't go through. And uh, good carry. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that and have a nice day.